Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another edition of StreakWave Webinars. Today, we are pleased to present you with information and products from Tycon Power Systems. StreakWave is an international distributor of broadband wireless equipment, and we are happy to bring you this webinar and service information about products and applications and technology related to power management. If you have questions or want to get further information about anything you see in this webinar or from StreakWave or from Tycon Power, please come to www.streakwave.com or give us a call anytime at 888-604-5234. It's my great pleasure today to introduce Lee Price from Tycon Power Systems. He's going to walk us through a great presentation about remote power challenges and how you can use remote power sources in the field, whether it's nearby your business, far away, or in different locations. He'll show you a lot of different approaches that you can take. This equipment is very flexible and well built, and it has a lot of options. It's a great choice for those of you who are looking for power where it may not be readily available or you need backup. Lee, welcome. Richard, thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, you hear me okay? Absolutely. Absolutely. Very good. Very good. Welcome, guys. I appreciate you taking the time for this webinar. Uh, I've spoken to a lot of you I know already, and, and many of you know who we are. So I'm going to do things maybe a little backwards just to give you a good understanding of, of what we do here, what we have, our product line, without going into too much detail on every little product. Uh, as Richard mentioned, we've got some great solutions for your, your remote backup power needs. But to understand the general idea of what we offer, we've got remote power systems in two, two flavors. To clarify those, the first one is a UPS Pro which is really an outdoor, rugged, uninterruptible power supply. Uh, great for those critical needs. You need uptime on those devices, you use our UPS Pros. A true remote power system would be our remote pro running solely off of uh, solar or wind power. So we're going to discuss the two different types. Both of these remote power systems, though, uh, it, it provides uninterruptible, clean power, filtered power to your devices. Uh, number one killer there to, for your devices is, is those spikes and surges. So this is a great way to keep your devices running. So to go between these two, I'm going to switch back and forth. But first, we're going to talk about the UPS Pro. To give you an overall understanding, I'm going to go backwards here and talk about what gives you your power. Your batteries are, or, or provide the backup time. Power goes out, you need this. So you have to understand how much backup time do you have. Our batteries come in a couple different sizes. One of them, the top one there, the 51 amp hour battery, or the 9 amp, amp hour battery down below. Very simple to understand how that works. 9 amp hours, that could be 1 amp hour for 9 hours, or 9 amp hours for 1 hour. It's really that simple. You have something that takes a half an amp, that 9 amp hour battery will run for 18 hours. So very simple on how the batteries work. Our UPS Pros and Remote Pros come in three sizes, a die cast enclosure, a polycarbonate enclosure, and a steel enclosure. I've had people mention they'd like me to read everything on the screen, so I will. No, I'm just kidding. There's going to be a lot of text on these, on these slides. I'm going to breeze right through all of them. Don't bother reading these, as this, this presentation will be available on the Streakwave website. All right, so we have three different sizes of our, of our power systems. Our smaller one, our DC enclosure, die-cast enclosure, can hold, as you can see, one 9-amp-hour battery. This size is good for uh, about 2 watts for, for 24 hours. You bump it up to our polycarbonate size. You can see there are four 9-amp-hour ba nine batteries in there. So you take those 2 watts, that'll last for about 4 days, or 24 hours for about 8 watts. And then you bump up to our larger size, which is our steel enclosure, which will hold from one to four 51 amp hour batteries. You can use that all the way up to 200 amp hours. So we're going to give you an understanding of how, how and when to use which size system. Okay? Our chart here simplifies it. You go down the left side, find out from your customer what their demand is. What is their load going to be? Once you've added up all their devices they want to power up, you simply figure out how long you want it to run. And that will give you a good idea. At this point, I'm going to give you a general idea how to read, how to read our part numbers. 
Uh, this top one here, UPS, simply means a UPS Pro as opposed to a RP Remote Pro. The next, the next uh, item is the size of the enclosure, a die cast enclosure here, polycarbonate here. The next number would be your input voltage. So you have 12 volts going in, and you have an option for coming out. This could either be 12 volts, 18, 24, or 48 volts out. And then the last number is going to be your amp hours on your batteries, nine amp hours here for this one. If there's another number, that would be your solar panel wattage. Okay? Very simple to read this chart. Find out what the need is, what the demand is, figure out how long they want it to go out. If the power goes out, how long do they want their, their device to continue to run? Choose your system. Pretty simple. And this will all be up on the Streetway website soon also. There's going to be a lot of applications here, uh, just diagrams. So I understand if I keep talking at you, you're not going to really get the, the understanding how they work. So we're going to throw in some of these things, and I'll just breeze over these so you get an idea. Our system run on controllers to, to, to protect your batteries. So this controller, and we're going to talk about this later in a little more detail, is a solar charge controller. In the UPS Pros, we do not have solar attached to it. It is an option. But you will notice you have your batteries connected to the controller. And you have your power coming up, inserting into the PoE, which then will power up your device. This one happens to be bumped up on a from 24 volts up to 48 volts here to get 48 volts. So you can have a compliant switch here. You have four ports, all providing 802.3AF. Very simple. As our systems work that easy, and the question is, how do you get to the, the voltage or amperage you need? Another option there to give you, this is the same, same uh, controller here. This is 24 volts in, 24 out, which you'll notice there. And it gives you a, a view of it. So you're, if you had solar panels, it would connect here. Your batteries would connect here. You have your PoE in. Now I'll give you a little bit more information now on our controller. This is a dual input here, a dual output on this. So you can have the option of PoE in here and an auxiliary output on the back. So this is a great diagram to understand how this works. You've got power coming in here and, and data. That's going out to a switch here, a non-compliant switch. Your first two ports are powering up to 24 volt devices. Your next port, you'll see, is being converted up to 48 volts. So you're taking auxiliary power to here. This converter, we'll talk about this later also, will accept from 9 to 36 volts in, 44, 48 volts out. Same idea here, where this is providing 18 volts out. So you have four different devices. 224s, 118, and 148 volt out, all running off the same switch, the same system. Very versatile systems. And we have products to, to pretty much adapt any any device you need. Going into our larger UPS system, these were, if you see the UBNT on the end, these are designed specifically for ubiquity and microtech applications. Provides a lot more power. These are this one is up to 192 watts, continuous power. It's running off a different type of battery controller to provide that kind of power. But the same idea. You've got a UPS steel enclosure, 24 volts. You've got 50 amp hours of battery, and this one has an eight-port switch. So very simple to understand how our systems work once you know what you need to power up. Another look at it. This one is our 2424. So you can see our controller down here. Our, this is our SCPOE controller. Allows you to put 24 volts in. And this one is powering up a five port switch here. This is a, this 30 watts is incorrect. I should say 60 watts continuous power on this system. Now to add to our UPS or, uh, systems, you can add wind turbine at, a, at any point here. And that'll just add to it. Also, you can add solar power. So when we say UPS, that's not straight AC or PoE power. You can actually add solar and wind to these also for added insurance. Okay. Here's our solar kits designed for our UPS pros. 
If you wanted to add a solar panel, these kits will provide everything you need, the panel, the mount, cable, and controller. So now you have AC power coming into your kits. You're powering it up. If the power goes out, your solar will, will continue to provide battery backup there. Okay. Switching over to our second type of remote power system is our Remote Pro. On this chart, you'll see the same idea. You choose your demand, figure out what your load is in watts, and then figure out how much sun hour, what's your average sun hours out there, peak sun hours. You'll see here our system, same way. It's a remote pro in a die cast enclosure, 12 volts, 9 amp hours on battery, and this has a 5 watt panel on it. These also come in our die cast enclosure, polycarbonate and steel enclosure, depending on what your battery needs are. Very simple to figure out what you need for continuous power if the sun decides to power you up there. These literally are com uh, complete systems. You can set this up in a field and it will begin running for you. A simple uh, uh, visual here. You can see our larger steel enclosure here, die cast and polycarbonate. You come back and read these slides if you need more information or details or specs on these. Our hybrid systems, as I mentioned, you can add solar or wind power to any of these systems. Wind power comes in very handy uh, when, you're, when those clouds come over for a few days. Typically, if there's clouds out, there's wind out. So you may not get the sun, the solar power, but you'll still get the wind power. So not a bad option to have there. Our typical applications, why would you use these? As we mentioned, the killer is those spikes and surges. Uh, the filter, the clean filtered power coming out of our systems will save a lot of wear and tear on your devices. Your wireless base station is going to be running uh, consistently, constantly. Great for the surveillance industry, protecting the, or running some remote sensors. If you have some critical applications that you must have up 24-7, these are, these are fabulous for that situation. Or simply powering up things remotely if you can't get any power out to that, that, that location. Very popular uh, products we have now. This is the controller I mentioned. Powering up the majority of our system, our, our dual output, our, our solar charge controller, SCPOE. You have your PoE input, so you can have data and power coming in through the front. And then out of the top port, you also have your data and power coming out. Your auxiliary power can come out. And this power is going to be whatever voltage is supplied from the battery. So uh, let's pick a 1224. You have 12 volts going in. This port would have 24 volts coming out. Power on the back, you would have 12 volts coming out to power up uh, additional devices. So you can see how you can power up two different voltage devices on the same charge controller. You can get a good look now how your solar plugs in and your battery. These SCPOE charge controllers have overcharge and overdischarge protection, uh, extremely valuable in, in protecting your batteries and your devices. To show how these work, very simple. You take our charge controller, you've got to power it up, so you've got power coming in here, and then you've got your data. As you'll see, your blue line running your data all the way through. Your PoE injector here is powering up from the back of the controller to power up this camera. We're going to show a number of slides here with typical applications so that you can get a general idea of how your, your solutions or situations would need to be filled. Uh, so I don't need to go over each device, but you'll, you'll notice we have quite a few <coughs> solutions as far as converters and splitters um, to get you to where you need to be. Another application, you notice that we're powering up a five-port switch off the back. So 24 volts coming off the back to power up cameras. They're running their data off this port into the front to get to their antenna. Your solar power and battery off the front. It's really that simple and will fill the in-between what you need. You just let us know what you need there. Streetway is very good at handling those.